with Hamas managing to launch a devastating attack on Israel, killing over 1,200 people, the focus has turned towards the secretive leader of the terrorist group, Mohammed Deif, who is also known by another name, The Guest. Mohammed Deif is the leader of Hamas's Al Qassam Brigades, its military wing. It is he who conceived and planned the brutal attack on Israeli civilians, reportedly in response to storming of the Al Aqsa Mosque by Israeli military in May 2021. He also named the attack as Operation Al Aqsa Flood. The plan involved firing thousands of rockets at Israel within minutes and simultaneously launching hundreds of its fighters in southern Israel after breaching the wall. Hamas sources say that images of Israeli forces storming the mosque fueled anger among Palestinians. Israel and Hamas also fought a 11-day war over the issue, but clearly Mohammed Deif wasn't done yet. More than two years later, the topmost Hamas commander launched an attack that proved to be most costly in terms of the number of victims for Israel. In retaliation, Israel's airstrikes have already killed over 950 people with the death count increasing by the hour. Israeli Air Force has also bombed Deif's father's house in response to the Hamas attack and some of his kin have been reportedly killed. Mohammed Deif has survived seven assassination attempts by Israel, the most recent in 2021. One of the reasons for him being able to dodge Israeli agencies is that he keeps a very low profile and changes his location frequently. He is also called the guest because he reportedly spends each night at a different place, mostly as guest of Hamas supporters. However, on October 7, Mohammed Deif made the announcement about Hamas's operation in an audio tape broadcast on TV. The whereabouts of Deif are unknown, though he is most likely in Gaza in the maze of tunnels under the enclave. An Israeli security source said Deif was directly involved in the planning and operational aspects of the attack. Reports say Mohammed Deif, along with Hamas's leader in Gaza, Yahya Sinwar, planned the whole operation. Before the operation was actually launched, only a handful of Hamas leaders knew about the plan. In fact, the two Hamas leaders also didn't discuss this attack plan with even its backers, including Iran. Reportedly, Iran knew that a major operation was being prepared, but it did not have any details about the attack. The plan as conceived by Deif also involved a prolonged effort at deception, making Israel believe that Hamas was not interested in fighting. This led to Israel lowering its guard. Mohammed Deif was born as Mohammed Masri in 1965 in the Khan Yunis refugee camp in Gaza. He came to be known as Mohammed Deif after joining Hamas during the first intifada in 1987. He was arrested by Israel in 1989 and spent about 16 months in detention. He also has a degree in science from the Islamic University in Gaza. He has been instrumental in developing the group's network of tunnels and its bomb-making expertise. He reportedly lost an eye and sustained serious injuries in one leg in one of Israel's assassination attempts. His wife, seven-month-old son and three-year-old daughter were killed by an Israeli airstrike in 2014. A Times Online report. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.